So today we're going to be playing episode 1 of Vega Immortal, which is a VR game. I'm playing this on my Oculus. So when I recorded this video, I didn't notice that the Oculus mic was not recording, so I'm actually adding all of this audio in post after the fact. Um, could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how much you uh, want to hear me talk, but this is going to be a little bit different situation than my normal videos. So right here, this is just warning me that the area I have set up for the game is not up to the recommended size, so I just have to be careful where I move. I live in a small apartment, I moved as much furniture as I could to make a spot for the VR, but this is my first time playing the game on the story mode. I've done the lightsaber dojo fighting before, but that's about it. So this was really cool. This was really, uh, this is probably the most lifelike VR game i played. Uh, this and the Twilight Zone both are probably the best VR games I've played, but, um, it's me trying to figure everything out. So I figured out that you actually have to flip the switches on here, which I thought was really awesome. I've never seen a VR game like that yet. Um, Nine-year-old me would have really loved this. <laughs> Well, it's kind of hard to see watching the video now, but when you're wearing the headset, this oh, all felt real. Well, as soon as we offload these spice crates at Shadow Market, we are sitting pretty. You know, maybe then you can make those uh, repulsor lift upgrades you've been promising me forever. You know, and forever and ever. You know, it looks like we're going to be in hyperspace for a while here, so. Feel free to go back and check our loot. You name it. Sky's the limit. So you could move by either physically walking or you could also use the sticks on the controller to move around. Um, depending on, on the mood, I used both just because I was working with such a small space in my apartment to move around in. I was trying to pick stuff up, but all of this is stationary. Right there, whenever you see me reach out with my finger like that, I was checking to see where the edge of my VR Guardian was. Why don't you go ahead and scan the ship? Here, I was trying to figure out how to scan the ship. All right. Uh, well, looks like the main sensor antenna has been damaged. All right. Let's switch to backup. Okay. Let's do the next one. Switching to defense system. Well, the deflector shields are totally offline. One more hit and we would have been toast. Let's shut them down until we can get them repaired. So that's a uh, interdictor cruiser, uh, you can tell by the gravity well. 
Um, they've never shown up in a live action canon, but uh, basically they're to simulate the gravity generated by a star to uh, pull ships out of hyperspace. You can tell by the big dome things on the bottom. Zoe to my friends, uh, there must be some mistake. Admiral, the Windfall is a humble salvage vessel. Anything short of immediate compliance will result in your destruction. My bad, Admiral. Sorry about that. Slaving our ship's guidance to your Imperial control now. I'm trying to figure out how to do different motions with my hands. It's that bad. Mustafar's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? It's so, Vader's castle, which first appeared in Rogue One was actually designed by Ralph McQuarrie uh, for Empire Strikes Back um, before George Lucas decided to move Vader's command center from a castle to uh, the Super Star Destroyer. I got a bad feeling about this, Captain. She said the thing. See, I'm trying to find where the edge of uh, my guardian is. So I don't walk into anything. I was having trouble <laughs> with this, apparently. Wipe that I'm trying. Captain, put your palm on the ripping reader. I like how it rag my uh, fingerprints through my glove. I'm officially worried, Captain. Open your door. Oh, oh, uh, just, just a moment. Sorry, we're having. Hi. A, a thousand. Don't move, scum. You've caused us considerable inconvenience, smuggler. Smugglers? Who said we were smugglers? Smugglers. smugglers? That was unnecessary. Take them both to the holding cells. So I'm pointing here because there's a prisoner in that cell over there that I noticed. And I promise you a merciful death when he's through with you. You are not the first candidate to fall under his scrutiny, and you will likely not be the last. This was so cool. And like the actual headset, this was so intimidating. You are required to perform one simple task. Mm -hmm. 
Open this configuration, and I will spare your life. If that's not James Earl Jones, whoever did this did a really good impersonation. Usually, Vader's voice sounds awful in video games, but this one sounded pretty close. I dig it. This is the one I've been searching. Poke me in the eye. Hey, 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 just watch your face. Also, please introduce yourself. Who are you? Vilip Forma, Lore Master of my Cavern Clan. Uh huh. And why should we trust you? Do you want to get out of here? Then listen. Now that Vader's found you, he's in reach of enormous power. He means to conquer dead itself. Countless lives are in danger, including your own. Yeah, way ahead on that. Lower master, except I can't reach it. Here, use this to access the main breaker. Wait, you have a hydro spanner? I don't want to ask, but where have you been hiding them? Don't tell me. D you know what? I don't want to know. You need to insert so I figured out that that's supposed to be your belt. When you let go of something, it automatically attaches to your belt. And it's kind of cool how you can switch items between hands. I don't know what I was doing here. That sounds promising. I was like, "What now?" You've got the face plate open. And I figured it out. I was looking for the guardian. The door is activated by voice print. Okay, no offense, but this is not our first jailbreak. Step aside, please, and keep quiet. I can simulate the Admiral's voice. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. <laughs> this way. So my problem with this is I would have thought that like after failing the security check two times it would trigger some sort of alarm in a place like this. This lift will take us to the hangar and your ship, but we need to override the security. And I also thought it was kind of funny that in a uh, high secure area like Vigor's castle, a multi-tool can get through all of the security systems. But it's still fun. Good, good, good. I think we may make it. Hey, how did you? Right. 
I have no idea what species this character is. I don't know if maybe he's native Mustafar or what. There's the windfall. That's our ship. We gotta find a way down there. Quickly, let's move. Swarming with troopers and seconds. This is Admiral Karras. All personnel alert. Prisoners have escaped. Lock down the hangar and secure all exits. Ah, oh, we'll never get to our ship now. You'll have to find the priestess of my clan. Down in the caverns beneath us. She's your only way off Mustafar now. Take my lower totem. It will help her find you. So I thought that this was completely unnecessary. Um, he could have easily come with us and she could have shut the uh, turbo lift doors. Like, him running out there really did nothing for us. We're sitting bloggins in here. We'll have to find another way out. I can't override the controls. Can you try? This looks like a job for a multi-tool. See if your hydro spanner will let you override the controls. I don't know what I was doing there. So this felt super weird in VR. I guess the only way is that. Scrag it, I hate heights. I do too. You know, this is humiliating. If you'd upgraded my repulsor lift module, I wouldn't have to drag myself up like a meat bag. Yeah, this felt so freaking weird. Hey, it looks like we could climb up here. Word of advice. Best not to look down. Right from here on out, can we just stick to places that don't require climbing Please. so right here i don't know what happened i think the game glitched out a little bit or maybe it was loading but i thought that the game was gonna crash here but it started working again so i don't know what happened is it because i i looked down when it told me not to Yeah, the climbing made me feel a little sick, like, physically, but... Oh, Alright, and then, so, for the sake of time, we're gonna end this right here, but we'll be back soon. Uh, this is a pretty great game so far, and we'll see you later. Bye.